Amen. How many are glad to be in God's house tonight? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just going to wait a moment as they're finishing up that. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. How many feel the Holy Spirit in here? How many are excited about what God is doing? How many are excited about what God's going to do? Amen. You know, we've experienced too, in my opinion, great, powerful services Sunday morning, Sunday night. And in the natural, you know, the thought could be we'll save some for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And that could be the thought if this was just regular Sunday through Wednesday church revival. But I believe right now we're experiencing not just a scheduled revival, but a move of the Holy Spirit. Amen? A sovereign move of God. So I'm excited tonight about what God's going to do, anticipating Him to tear open the windows of heaven. Pastor Steve would mention a song, and I just want us to sing it before I preach. How many can think of the goodness of Jesus? Just take a moment with me and think about how many remember the day Jesus saved you? How many remember the day Jesus gave you the Holy Ghost? Who remembers that day Jesus filled you with the Holy Ghost? I remember the day. I, I, was, it was, I was in second grade. I was walking on the playground during recess, and I said, Jesus, will you fill me with the Holy Spirit? And right then started speaking in tongues. I remember the rest of the day, every time I got a little quiet time, I get to pray in the Holy Ghost. And my mom picked me up from my, my grandma's house, whatever, and I was praying in tongues with my breath. She said, what are you doing? I said, nothing. And then as soon as I went back to my room, I started praying in tongues again. I remember the day I got the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So when I think of the goodness of Jesus, as the song says, and all he's done for me, I can't help but cry out, hallelujah. Come on, just say hallelujah. Just thank the Lord. Let's just lift up our hands for a moment. Just, just tell him, God, I thank you. Come on, just tell him, thank you, Lord Jesus. As Pastor Josh begins to sing this, hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Praise God for saving me. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, praise God for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, hallelujah, think about it, and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. The goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Praise God for saving me. Now sing this. And oh Lord, send the power just now. Oh Lord, send the power just now. after church and Jared mentioned, Pastor said, how many people were here Sunday morning? And Jared said, we had 120 people. <laughs> now think about that. 100, 120 people on the day of Pentecost, they were in an upper chamber. They were all with one accord. When the Holy Ghost descended, how many want the Holy Ghost to descend tonight? How many know you are in the right place at the right time tonight? Hallelujah. So let's sing and praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh, Lord, send the power just now. Oh.
Oh, come on, let's lift up a shout tonight, inviting the Holy Spirit to come into this place. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, do you feel the Holy Ghost in here? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Before you sit down, just turn to somebody and say, Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Come on, tell somebody, Thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. We sing a song in Salem that says, I thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. He's my comforter, my helper. On him I do depend. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost. Mm. How many are thankful for the Holy Spirit? Praise God. Then they change keys, and then the next song they go into says they were rocking and reeling in the streets of Jerusalem. Those people thought they were crazy because they were having so much fun. But Peter said, these are not drunk as you suppose, but they're just very, very filled with the Holy Ghost. And this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. This is that which fell on the day of Pentecost. This is that God's pouring out today. It's so fine. It's so fine. God's new wine. How many know it's hallelujah? There's nothing like it. I was in Costa Rica a couple weeks ago, and I requested that song. And, of course, they're speaking Spanish, so I don't, my Spanish is very... Very, I know a little bit of Spanish, enough to get myself in trouble, really. People kept saying, do you sp uh, speak any Spanish? And I'd say, un poquito, which I just thought meant, yes, you know, very little. And they kept getting these funny looks. And so finally, someone had the heart to tell me that poquito is like a little baby doll. Poquito is very little. So I kept saying, do you speak Spanish? I'd say, un poquito, yes, a little baby doll. So I'm standing there. I'm standing there during worship, and they're singing, and I, all, all of a sudden I heard the word loco, and I know it's for crazy. I thought, what worship song do they have that says crazy? And then they got to my fair part, and said, they said SOS, which means this is that, and it's speaking different language. I felt the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you all, this is that. Amen? Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn to Psalms chapter 34. Psalms chapter 34. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't y'all just love your worship team? Yeah. Amen. It's been a, it's an honor. I, I used to play every Sunday with my home church in Oklahoma. Then I moved and, you know, traveling, I don't play as much. But I always get excited when someone, a worship pastor, allows me to play. So it's an honor. I'm excited about what God's doing here at Full Gospel. Verse, I mean, Psalms chapter 34, verse number 1. It's a psalm of David. And he says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. 
the humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Tonight I'll entitle my message is a call to praise. A call. We have a call as believers to give God praise. Amen. And all of my life, one of my favorite things about church, one of my favorite parts about service has been praise and worship. I remember as a child loving praise and worship. And uh, now the church I was raised in until we were, I was nine years old and God moved us, you know, we would sing two or three hymns, then two or three choruses, I remember. And so as a child, I fell in love with the old songs as well as the new songs. And so to me, it's all worship. It's all praise. And I like it all. And praise is an important part of our lives as believers. The Bible exhorts God's people to praise him. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Look throughout the word of God. One of the first examples of praise is in, in the scripture. It's found in the book of Exodus chapter 15. After the Isra uh, Israelites had left the Red Sea and it closed up on Pharaoh's army. And Moses began to sing, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and rider have been thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him. And throughout the history of the Israelites, they were commanded at different times to praise God for his goodness. As I look around this room and I look throughout the scripture, I realize that great things happen when God's people praise him for his goodness. Great things happen when people begin to give all to God and give him praise. And as I look around this room, I think we can all agree on that we serve a great God. I think we can all agree. It makes sense why the songwriter said, Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works your hands have made. I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. He is a great God. We serve a great and wonderful God. I saw a sign one time at a church that says, How big your God is depends on who your God is. Well, I'm telling you, we serve a big God. We serve a great God. And because he is a great God, he deserves all of our praise. And can we agree that God's been good to us? As I look throughout my life, I can't help but think how good God has been to me. Amen? And because of his greatness, it makes sense why David wrote, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And tonight, I believe God is calling us to a higher dimension of praise. I believe the Lord is calling us to a higher place of praise. I believe God is going to give us a greater revelation of our praise. Because I believe this is a house of praise. And our lives need to exemplify lives who give God praise. Amen. Not just sometimes, but men and women who bless the Lord at all times, whose praise will continually be in our mouths. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name forever. I remember a song that says, oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Hosanna, blessed be the rock of my salvation. We have got a reason. We have got a right we have got a mandate we have got an obligation to give God our praise hallelujah and through our praise we can open up a door into a supernatural dimension how many want to get into that supernatural dimension tonight a few things God's laid in my heart about praise I'm going to look at them real quick and number one about our praise our praise brings protection our praise is a remedy for the attacks from the enemy for fear, and it gives us supernatural boldness. After he said, bless the Lord at all times and magnifying the Lord with us, let us exalt his name forever. You get to verse number four. He said, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fear. They looked to him and were radiant. Their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cries out, the Lord hears him and saved him out of all of his troubles. David begins the psalm with praise. Then he lets us know that through our praise, through living a lifestyle of blessing the Lord at all times, that he will hear us and he will deliver us. Through our praise, he will deliver us from all fear. 
Through our praise, he will deliver us from the attacks of the enemy. Through our praise, he can deliver you from strongholds and bondages and addictions in our lives. Amen. Through our praise, he will save us from our troubles. You can be in a bad place in your life with God. You can be in a good place in your life with God. But when the enemy comes to attack, begin to lift up that praise and he will deliver us from all fear. He will deliver us from the attacks from the enemy. Verse number 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamps all around them that fear him. And he delivers them. Amen. Now think about that. The angels of the Lord. King James says the angels of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. And he delivers them. The, I'm going to say that again. The angels. The same angels in Daniel chapter 10 that when Daniel prayed and fasted for three weeks for his answer, the angel came and said, the minute you prayed your prayer, I was sent with the answer. But I had to fight the princes and the powers of Persia in the air. But I have been sent. I've come through. I want to tell you in the spiritual war that's taking place in the second heavens right now, we may be a target of the enemy, but as we give God praise, the angels of the Lord will camp around our lives. The angels of the Lord will camp around our finances. The angels of the Lord will camp around our homes. Hallelujah. The enemy may attempt to fight. He may attempt to come against you. Oh, but the angels of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. And he delivers them from all fear. He will save them. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'll be all right with some angels camping around my life and protecting me from the attacks and the schemes of the enemy. In Exodus chapter 17, the Israelites were fighting with the Amalekites. Moses went to the mountaintop and he lifted up his hands. And as he lifted up his hands, they began to win the battle against the Amalekites. Then he put his hands down, and they began to lose the battle. So Aaron and Hur went up there and kept his hands lifted up. And guess what? They won the battle against the Amalekites. God will give us the victory as we lift up our hands in the sanctuary and give him praise because he is worthy of it. Mm. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21 through 22, it says that they were in the middle of a battle and they sent out the praisers and the worshipers ahead of the armies. And, mm, now, how many that just doesn't make any sense? You got the best armies coming against the Judah, and instead of sending out the warriors and the best artillery and the weapons, they say, Get me the praisers, get me the worshipers. And they begin to worship and say, He is good, His mercy endures forever. And as they begin to worship Him, it said, God set up ambushes against the people that came against the, Judah, and they were defeated. Let me tell you something your praise has the power to defeat the enemies in your life, your praise has the power to protect you from the attacks and the schemes of the enemy. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Whenever and wherever God's people praise him, he reigns. <laughs> and when God shows up, miraculous things will be done on our behalf. Jesus said in the book of John, in this world you will experience tribulation. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Jesus has overcome the world. He has already done what needs to be done. So we do not have a reason to walk around saying, I don't know if God's going to show up. No, when you're in the middle of your battle, give God praise because the battle is not mine. But the battle belongs to the Lord. Oh, and I remember what Moses said to the Israelites, the Egyptians that you see today, you will never see again. And I want to tell you, you praise God. He can smite out. He can take out every attack and skin of the devil hallelujah we sing a song in Salem and it says God said he would turn it around God said he would turn it around what the devil meant for evil God will make it good turn around turn around turn around one verse says I know it may be midnight but joy is soon to come I know it may be midnight but joy is soon to come I know it may be midnight but joy is soon to come turn around turn around turn around one verse says, give him all the praise, for God is in control. Just give him all the praise, for God is in control. Give him all the praise, for God is in control. Turn around, turn around, turn around. And my favorite verse says, he'll give you beauty for ashes, joy for your pain. 
grace for your sadness when you remember Jesus day morning into dancing sorrow into joy every day will be sweeter than the day before because you may be fighting a battle but as you give him all the praise because he's in control he can turn your situation around for the good because the Bible says he makes all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose you may be fighting the enemy right now but God is saying give me the praise uh, I remember another song we sing it says victory victory shall be mine victory victory shall be mine if I hold my peace let the Lord fight my battles Vic, how many know it how many remember that old song victory victory shall be mine oh if I hold my peace sometimes we need to stop complaining stop trying to make it work out stop trying to maneuver and manipulate the situation to our favor and hold our peace and give God praise and let the Lord fight our battles. Praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, man, do you feel the Holy Spirit here? Mm, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Do y'all feel him in here? Do y'all know that song? You know that song, Josh? Victory, victory shall be mine. Oh, I'm <laughs> Look here again. Let's see. Victory, victory shall be mine. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battles. Victory, victory shall be mine. How many know it? Hallelujah. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. Praise God. Victory, victory shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battles. Victory, victory shall be mine. One more time, hallelujah. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. How, someone needs to hear this tonight. Victory, victory shall be mine. Hallelujah. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battles. Victory, victory shall be mine. Praise God. It's ours, church. It's ours. Amen. It is ours. Say that. It's mine. Victory is mine. Through my praise. Amen. Praise God. So number one, our praise brings protection. Number two, our praise brings his presence. Psalms 22 verse number three says, but you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. In other words, when people gather together in praise, he literally sits enthroned. He's literally in the middle of the praises of his people. I desire God's presence. We have been promised God's presence. Exodus 33 verse 14 says, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Matthew 28 verse number 20 says, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Hebrews 13 5 says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. We have been guaranteed God's presence, but how do we get from that place of just knowing we've been guaranteed to his presence to actually experiencing his presence. It happens through our praise. Second Chronicles chapter 5, as they were dedicating the temple, it said, And it came to pass when the singers and the praisers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the instruments of music and said, He is good, His mercy endures forever, that then the house of the Lord was filled with a cloud, so strong the priest could not stand the minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. The priests and the singers got in unity and began to praise. It did say they got in unity and began to make prayer requests and give their petitions. There's a time to ask God for things. There's a time to make your requests known to God. There's a time to boldly enter the throne room of grace. But there's also a time to just praise Him. Do you all know anybody that the only time they call you is when you, they need something? How many knows those people? You know, <laughs> some of you have two hands up. The only time the phone rings is when they need you. How many ever let those phone calls go to voicemail? Get honest, church. I wonder how many times is the only time God hears from us is when we need something. When God hears from me, I don't want him to think, well, what does Daniel need now? I'd rather that be the exception than the rule. I'd rather the rule be that when God hears from me, it's to give him praise and to give him worship. And let me tell you, as you praise God and worship Him, sometimes He'll meet your needs without even asking Him to do it. I've been healed physically in my body as I simply gave God praise. 
I've got victory in situations simply when I gave God praise. Uh, and if, as we get in God's presence and give Him praise, He will show up. The manifest presence of God is ushered in through our praise and through our worship. It didn't take talent. It was ordinary people that began to say he's good as mercy endures forever. Then the house was filled with a cloud. And I believe it's God's desire to reveal himself to our lives. I believe it's God's desire to pour out his presence. And through our praise, we can stir up the presence of God in our lives. And once you've experienced God's presence, nothing else really matters. Once you've had a taste of the presence of God, David said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How many of that's verse number eight. How many have tasted and seen that God is good? I don't know about you, but I've tasted it. I've seen it. And there's nothing else I want besides it. Amen. It's what I desire. It's what I live for. My desire is to be in the presence of God. And guess what? My praise can get me there. Amen. We, there is power in our praise. Power to protect us. Power to bring his presence. How many are thankful God gave through us the ability to usher in the presence of God? You know, we don't sing four or five songs at the beginning of a service to warm up the pastor or the preacher. We sing praise and worship to God because he deserves it. Amen? He said, bring a sacrifice of praise unto him. Sometimes you don't have it in you, but do it anyhow. Amen? So number one, our praise brings his presence. Number two, our praise brings protection. Number three... Our praise should be unconditional. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Our praise to God is not based off of our feelings or our emotions. If our praise to God was based on how we felt, then David would have said, I will bless the Lord sometimes. That's not what he said. He said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. Remember as a child, my pastor at our church in Oklahoma would tell us very often, church, there's two times to praise the Lord. When you feel like it and when you don't. All right. All right. No matter what I'm facing, no matter what my situation is, I will bless the Lord at all times. No matter how I feel, I will bless the Lord at all times. No matter what I'm going through, I will bless the Lord. The Lord at all times. Because no matter what my situation is, God is still on the throne and he still deserves my praise. On the worst day of my life, my song should still be, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. We have got a reason to praise him. Because God will protect you if you praise him. There's another old song, I'm sure you all know it, but it says, He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here, while I live by faith and do His blessed will. A wall of fire about me, I have nothing now to fear. With His manna, He my hungry soul shall fill. Then sweeping up to glory to see His blessed face, where rivers of delight shall ever roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousands to my soul. He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here. No matter what I'm going through, I'm going to give God praise at all times. My praise is not going to be based on the condition I'm in but my praise is going to be unconditional. Hallelujah. Because even in my inconsistency, God is still constant. Hallelujah. And I'm just continuing to say old songs but there's a song that says hold to God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. There may be temporal things that don't make sense but hold to the hand of a God who will never leave you. Oh ho, shatasaya. Or never forsake you. My praise should be unconditional hallelujah praise God praise God praise God hallelujah if my praise were conditional the writer of Hebrews wouldn't have said in Hebrews 13 15 by him let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise unto God how many have ever come to church and not really had a praise in you Let us continually offer up a sacrifice. Sometimes praise is a sacrifice, but you know what? Get over it. Give it to him anyhow. Amen? 
I learned that when I was 13 or 14. We went to youth camp, and our church always did worship at youth camp. And it, they did such, our pastor did such a great job. Well, the first year we didn't do praise and worship, this other church did it. And it was rough. It was very bad. I mean, it was terrible. I mean, they had soprano lead with soprano harmony on top of the soprano lead. It was pretty rough. I remember thinking, oh, Lord, help us, Jesus. And as a result, I didn't enter in. I, and so we got out, after church, we got back to our dorm, and we all started making fun of it. I was right in there leading it all, and I was the ringleader. I was like, remember when they did this? Remember when they did that? We were doing their facial expressions, doing everything. We were having a good time. The whole dorm was laughing. And I mean, I got so convicted. At 13 or 14 years old, I heard God's voice. The Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, it's all praise to me whether you like it or not. And it, mm. I mean, that doesn't feel very good after you're making your friends laugh at 14 years old. I felt the Lord say, if you're going to get anything out of this week, you're not going to get with that attitude. If you're going to experience my presence this week, it's not going to be with that attitude. So I learned from them, my praise is unconditional. Whether it's my style of worship or not, he still deserves my praise. Whether it's a song I like or not, he still deserves my praise. Amen? And we should never let our life circumstances dictate the praise of, to the one who can change my life circumstances. Amen? Never let your circumstances hold you back. Because if you give God praise, he can alter your life circumstances. Praise is unconditional. If it, were, if it were conditional, Job, who was going through it, would have never declared, I know my Redeemer lives. If praise were conditional, when Paul and Silas were in prison, they would have never praised God at the midnight hour with hymns and songs. Think about it. They were in prison. If anybody should have been having a feeling sorry for themselves, it should have been them. But instead, they realized my praise is unconditional. If praise were conditional, guess what? The walls of Jericho would never have come down. From a natural standpoint, the walls of Jericho were shut up tightly. No one could go in. No one could go out. But they depended on a word from God. And they marched around the walls of Jericho. And after they shouted with a great shout, the walls fell down flat. And God gave them what was theirs because praise is unconditional. I will bless the Lord when? <clears throat> At all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. God is giving us a call to praise. And I believe if the church could catch on to the revelation that our praise ushers in the presence of God. Our praise brings His presence. Our praise brings protection. There's no telling what we could do. But I've heard people tell me, well, I show up late to church. I come just for the preaching. Well, if you came just for the preaching, you've missed out on a big part of the service. Because let me tell you, God's not going to pour out on accident. God's not going to show up on accident. In the book of Job, it talks about the vapors rising to the heavens. Our praise being that vapor that goes to the heavens. Let me tell you. It, it never rains on accident. It happens after an evaporation process. Let me tell you, the Holy Ghost is never going to pour out on accident. There's got to be some kind of evaporation that goes up to the heavens. And that evaporation is our praise. And as our praise rises to the heavens and begins the I believe clouds start forming in the skies. And all of a sudden, he opens up the skies. He falls down like rain. And our prayer turns from give me a blessing. No, we don't want blessings. Lord, we want you. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm telling you tonight, as our unconditional praise rises to the heavens, the presence of God will show up. The Holy Ghost will be poured out. Revival will be stirred in our hearts, in our lives, and in our church. And we will give God unconditional praise because he is worthy of it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And it amazes me that God has given you and me the ability to bring protection, to bring his presence, and it's all through our praise. And tonight, I don't believe this is just another message. I believe God's speaking to us. I believe he's giving us a call to praise. He's calling us to give him praise. And the thing about praise is praise is a lifestyle. It's not just a church thing. It's not just an event when Pastor Josh is leading in worship. In the no, praise is a lifestyle. 
There's a song I know, it says, all of my life, in every season, you are still God, and I've got a reason to sing. I've got a reason to praise him. No matter what I'm going through, blessed be the name of the Lord. He gives and takes away, but my heart will choose to say, blessed be the name of the Lord. It's not just a church thing. It's an important part of every, every Christian's life. And as we live the lifestyle of praise, he's positioning us to experience a powerful move of the Holy Spirit. As we live the lifestyle of praise, he's getting us ready for the miraculous the psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house. He didn't say, when I got to church after singing three songs, I finally got glad that I was in the house of the Lord. But he said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I wonder what would happen if the church, if the body of Christ would come in praising God instead of waiting for two or three songs to warm them up. But we walked in the house saying, I was glad when they said unto me, I'm going to come into church praising. I'm going to come into the house giving him glory. I'm going to come into the house giving him thanks. I will bless the Lord all times. I may not feel like it this morning. It may be a little bit early for me. I had a late light last night, but I'm coming into the house to give God praise. I may have had a hard day at work today, but I, I was glad when they said unto me, mm. what would happen if we make the decision? I'm going to make Pastor Josh's job a little bit easier. Instead of leading us in worship for two songs, first note that's hit on the keyboard, you're ready. You're ready to go. Hallelujah. How many ready to go tonight? He's giving us a call to praise. And I believe this is a house of praise. And as the praise of God's people rise to the heavens, the presence of God will fill this place. And as the presence of God fills this place, people will enter into the sanctuary and experience the protection of God. If we will catch on to the revelation that we are called to live a lifestyle of praise... See, I believe the presence of God is not just an occasional thing. I, I hunger for the day when the presence of God just dwells in this house. Ah, we're on a Tuesday. Someone walks in the house just to do church business, and all of a sudden they start weeping because the presence of God showed up. And let me tell you something. If we will host the presence of God. If we will live a life of unconditional praise, get ready for the miraculous to flow. Get ready for God to do great things in this house. And I believe the day is coming very soon when we live a life of unconditional praise. People will start getting saved that you were amazed that ever found Jesus. I believe the day is coming that during praise and worship, people will start getting healed. I believe the day is coming that during praise and worship, homes and marriages will be restored. I believe the day is coming during praise and worship, People will be set free from drugs, alcohol, addictions, and strongholds. I believe that during our praise and worship, blinded eyes will be opened. Deaf ears will begin to hear. Depressions will begin to lift. Demonic possession will begin to go. Miracles will take place. And lives will be changed. It's going to happen through unconditional praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Think about that. How many would like it on Sunday morning if during worship someone hops up out of their wheelchair? Now, y'all, I'm talking about our God. I'm talking about the same Jesus that raised Christ from the dead that dwells within us. I'm ready for the day, and I believe it's coming soon. You know, they said at the Azusa Street Revival, the presence of God was hosted and so strong of that church that people would walk into the building and cancers would fall off their body. That the presence of God was so strong that people would enter in the house and start praying in the Holy Ghost immediately and get baptized in the Holy Spirit. That the presence of God was so strong people would enter into the Azusa Street, 312 Azusa Street, and they'd get slain in the Spirit and set free from things. That alcoholics and prostitutes would be walking on the street outside of Azusa Street Mission and would get set free from their sins and their lives would turn around. At the Azusa Street Mission, the presence of God was so strong. Two miles away where the train station was, people would get off the train, tend to Azusa Street and fall out under the power of the Holy Ghost that far away. Let me tell you something. There's an untapped reservoir of the power of the Spirit that we've not been to yet, but I'll tell you how to get there. Bless the Lord at all times. Let His praise continually be in our mouths. Praise God. And as we give God unconditional praise, get ready for the presence to fill this place. And when God's presence and when God's glory comes, guess great things will happen. When the glory comes, critics will be silenced. When the glory comes, skeptics will be confused. 
When the convinced, when the glory comes, agnostics will believe. When the glory comes, atheists will tremble. When the glory comes, sinners will be terrified. When the glory comes, the righteous will rejoice. When the glory comes, backsliders will repent. When the glory comes, indifferent will be sh uh, shaken. When the glory comes, sons and daughters will prophesy. When the glory comes, the harvest will be gathered. When the glory comes, the Lord will be glorified. And I hear the Spirit saying, get ready for the glory of the Lord to fill this temple. Oh, you think you've seen it? You haven't seen anything yet for the glory of the latter house is not compared to the glory oh get ready hallelujah we're getting ready let me tell you something church you are on the brink of a move that is unprecedented not only in Lincoln but in the surrounding areas now church I'm talking about your house I'm talking about this place. There's a day coming. Get ready for a suddenly. Oh, pastor, I hear God saying, get ready for a suddenly. Like on the day of Pentecost, suddenly the Holy Ghost fell. Get ready for a suddenly, like on the dedication day of the temple. Suddenly the glory of the Lord filled the house so strong the priest could not even stand to minister. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. Get ready, church. Mm. Get ready. Get ready. Tell somebody, get ready. Oh, tell somebody, get ready. Tell them you've not seen anything yet. Tell them you've not seen anything yet. Mm. Now, do you believe that? And as we praise God, the presence of God is going to fill this place. How many are ready tonight for the presence of God to fill this house? How many want an unprecedented moving of the Holy Ghost? How many are ready to live a lifestyle of praise? Then tonight, I believe God desires to do that for each and every one of us, but it's going to take a commitment. God, I am going to live a lifestyle of praise. Are you ready? Oh, do you feel the Lord? He's calling us tonight. He's giving us a call to praise. How many of you are ready to answer that call tonight? Lift up your hand if you're ready. If you're ready to answer that call to praise, I want you to stand to your feet right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands if you're ready to answer that call tonight. To go to that higher place of praise. You sing that, Josh. Zion is calling me. A higher place of praise. Lift that up tonight. To stand upon the mountain and magnify his name. Tell all the people and every nation that he reigns. Zion is calling me to a high. Are you ready to answer that call tonight? Lift up your hands and worship Him. Zion, Zion is calling me to a higher place of praise. To stand upon the mountain and to magnify His name. Tell all the people and every nation that He reigns. Zion. Calling me to a See, it becomes, place of it becomes, hallelujah. It becomes a my highest praise when all that I am responds to who you are.
I want you to lift up your hand right now. Come on, how many want that tonight? I want you to come right now to the front of this house. Just come right now. Oh, it becomes my highest praise in all that I am. Responds to who you are. It becomes my Just to know you, Lord. Oh, just right now, press in right now. She called so holy on my time. It becomes a mind, the highest praise. When all that I am responds to who you are. Show me your glory. Come on, show me your glory. Something's moving, 
something's changing. See his glory. Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving. Something's changing. See his glory. Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving. Something's changing. See his glory. Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving. Something's changing. See his glory. Feels like heaven on earth. There is a lightning and thunder. Miracles and wonders. The sound of many waters. Heaven on earth. There is a lightning and thunder. Miracles and wonders. The sound of many waters. Heaven on earth. Oh, oh, oh. Heaven. Heaven on earth. Oh, oh. Heaven. The spirit of the Lord. She comes. He is in power. Just like heaven, just like heaven on earth, to be walking in its favor and graces. Just like heaven, just like heaven on earth. Oh, 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 oh heaven, heaven on earth. Our community show his ability, the will of the Lord for his children is to demonstrate, as you wait, oh, to be seated in heavenly places, just like heaven, just like heaven on earth. Walking in his favor and graces, just like heaven, just like heaven on earth. Oh, 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 oh heaven, heaven on earth. Oh, oh, heaven. How many can sense that God is taking us higher? How many ready to go there tonight? Mm, Jesus. Jesus. God has a new thing for this house. And I said earlier, but just get ready for a fresh move. How many are believing that? Here's what we're going to do. Mm, Jesus. I feel prompted to do this. I just want Pastor Steve, Debbie, Bishop, Sister Owens, can y'all come up here? Mm. At, 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 can we just get the leadership of the church to line up here at the front? Just the the leadership of the church just line up Pastor Steve can y'all stand next to Brother Sister Owens here in the middle y'all stand right here next to Brother Sister Owens mm. God's got a fresh move are we all ready for it and I heard the Holy Spirit speak to me it's coming do y'all believe that's coming? But it's going to start from the head down to the bottom. Amen? Like like the oil that flowed off Aaron from the top to the bottom. I get ready. Ah, oh, Jesus. 
And God's ready to do a fresh work. I'm telling you, I believe it. I just heard the Spirit speaking. Just get ready for miracles, signs, and wonders. Just say this. Say signs, wonders, miracles, healings, salvations. Signs, wonders, miracles, healings, and salvations. The foundation's been laid in this house through the leadership. Pastor Steve, I just know, I feel like the Holy Spirit's saying an impartation is coming tonight. Stretch your hands toward your pastor, his wife, and your bishop and his wife. Oh, Satan. Father God, in Jesus' name. Pastor, a new mantle is coming tonight. A new mantle. A new mantle. Right now. Oh, 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 so A new mantle.
something's changing See his glory Feels like heaven on earth Something's moving Something's changing See his glory Feels like heaven on earth There is a lightning and thunder Miracles and wonders Sound of many waters Heaven on earth There is a lightning and thunder Miracles and wonders Sound of many waters Heaven on earth There is a lightning and thunder Miracles and wonders Sound of many waters Heaven on earth There is a lightning and thunder Miracles and wonders Sound of many waters, heaven on earth. Oh, 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 heaven, heaven on earth. Oh, oh, heaven, heaven on earth. Oh, oh, heaven. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, His anointing is empowering. The kingdom of the Lord is within me, and He's calling me to the heavenlies. Oh, to be seen in heavenly places, just like heaven. Just like heaven on earth To be walking in his fame and graces Just like heaven Just like heaven on earth Oh, oh Heaven Heaven on earth Oh, oh Oh, heaven like heaven on earth something's moving something's changing see his glory feels like heaven on earth something's moving something's changing see his glory feels like heaven come on guys something's moving something's changing see his glory feels like heaven on earth there is a lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. There is a lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. There is a lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. There is a lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many wonders, heaven on earth. Oh, 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 oh. heaven. Oh, 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 oh. oh, heaven, heaven on earth. Just like heaven on earth To be walking in his favor and graces Just like heaven Just like heaven on earth Oh, oh, oh Heaven Heaven on earth Oh, oh Heaven Like 
living on earth Something's moving, something's changing See his glory, feels like heaven on earth Something's moving, something's changing See his glory, feels like heaven on earth There is a lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders Sound of many waters, heaven on earth There is a lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders Sound of many waters, heaven on earth Oh, oh Like 
heaven just like heaven on earth to be walking in his favor and grace is just like heaven just like heaven on earth oh I want the, who in here is an intercessor? God uses you for intercession in the church. I want you to come up right now. I want the intercessors to come up. Stand right here. Intercessors, just stand right here in a straight line. Just take a few steps back. Oh, and just line up all across the front of this house. The intercessors. Isaiah chapter 62 says, For Zion's sake I'll not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. He said, I've set watchmen on the wall of Jerusalem. They will never hold their peace day or night. You who make petition of the Lord, do not keep silent. Give him no rest. I believe God saying in this hour, give God no rest. Give him no rest. Your prayers, your intercession are effective. And they're pivotal for what God's about to do at this house. They're pivotal. And as you get in line and under the leadership of Pastor Steve, leadership of this church, there's unlimited potential. And I believe God's ready to birth a fresh anointing of intercession. A fresh anointing of intercession. I want uh, Mandy just come here. I want you to help me pray for these intercessors. Just come up front. You and Jared both. God's about to birth a fresh anointing of intercession. So I want you all to lift up your hands right now. And through this intercession is going to flow the gifts of the Spirit. Just get ready. Do not hold your peace. Give God no rest. Give God no rest. And then once God has fulfilled the promises for this house, continue to give God no rest. Hallelujah. Mm. Jared, Manny, I just want you all to start at the end. We're going to pray together. Us three. Start at the end. Get ready for an impartation. 
of an intercessory, a, a fresh anointing of intercession. There's no one in the room. Because I've given far, far too much praise to men who don't deserve my accolades. But tonight I'm going to worship you. There's no one in the room. Like there's no one in the room. Tonight I'm gonna sing to you. Like you've always wanted to. There's no one in the room Cause I've sang far Far too many songs Without ever offering my heart So tonight I'm gonna sing There's no one in the room Like there's no one in the room Tonight I'm gonna dance with you Like I've always wanted to Cause I've stood still in fear of what they say. Hiding in the bondage of my shame. Thank you, Lord. Who, who in here is part of the dance team? I want the dance team to come on up. Dance team, y'all come on up. Last night that during the dance at the sound of y'all's praise, I believe the heavens shake. And uh, just like it was with the worshipers and praises went out praising ahead of time. God said of ambush against the enemy. I feel like the Lord is saying as you through y'all's praise in your dance, God said he's setting up ambushes against the attacks and the schemes of the enemy. So lift up your hands. That's why God's saying be confident in your calling. Walk confidently in the calling, and God's giving y'all a fresh impartation tonight of ministry. Just lift up your hands, you're ready to receive. with you like I've always 
always wanted to Tonight I'm gonna dance with you Like I've always wanted to Cause I stood still fear of what they'd say of hiding in the bondage of my shame tonight I'm gonna dance with you there's no one in the room like there's no one in the There's no one in the room. Jesus, Jesus. He's here, y'all. Do you feel him? I want everybody who's a part of the worship team, I want you all to come on up. Everybody on the worship team. And the media too. All that. Just line up here right by our brother. Yeah, line up. Line him up right here. Shikaratas. hear stories of different places of how the, the glory comes in when the praisers and worshipers and the miracles and the healings take place. I believe that's getting ready to happen. How many believe it's getting ready to happen? I want y'all to stretch your hands toward the worship team right now. Pastor, will you help me pray? Will you help me pray for them? Lord God, I pray for an impart. Y'all just stretch your hands this way. God's going to give an impartation tonight. That as they begin to lift up their praise, a new dimension of worship is going to take place in this house. Right now, right now, right now. Touch show Satale.
Jesus. I just build one other thing for now. Who in here wants to be used in the gifts of the Spirit? Come on, how many are ready to be used? I want you all to come up. If you all want to be used in the gifts of the Holy Ghost, shot tossed Just come on up right here. Because the Bible says he gave the apostle, prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, the teacher to equip the saints for the work of the ministry. To equip the saints. I believe tonight some equipping is going to take place for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. For the words of wisdom, words of knowledge, discerning of spirits, message of tongues, gifts of tongues, interpretation of prophecy, gift of healings, faith, working of miracles. If you want that tonight, just lift up your hands. Impartation of the gifts. So, 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 so. There it is. Just take it. Get ready. Get ready for opportunities. Oh, and as we pray for you, don't just get ready to get touched. Right now, say, God. Everybody say, Father, in Jesus' name. I want an impartation. But with this impartation, I want opportunities to flow in the gifts. To flow in the gifts. And I'm going to take advantage of the opportunities you give me. Do you all believe that? Uh, right now, just receive it. 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 Oh, receive that impartation. Put one hand on your belly. Touch. Satarikatase. Impartation. Anointing of the Holy Ghost. Roso Toribadakata. Get ready for opportunities. Opportunities to come up right now. Receive a shot. Hey, hey. Sotorata. Talabadi. I see Kaya. Kisekili of Tolomohoto. Touch. So, so. Rubabala. Oh, Mata Sekila Hata. Fire. 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 An impartation, God. Open doors. Open doors. Open doors. Open doors. Oh, words of knowledge right now. Impartation. Shapata Sikala Mahata. Oh, yeah, oh, right now. Right now, not drunk with wine, but filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, Satan, re te te la hatai. Miki titi, toto sotolo, oto siti li arridi di alalabadia, corridi alalabadia. Oh, there it is, oh, yeah. Let that laughter out, that's that joy of the Lord. Oh, let it out, let it out, let it out. Let it out, let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Oh, that's it, yeah, let it out. Shatata soto, joy of the Lord, your strength. Oh, that's it, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Shatata re te 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 si. Bow, Satan, re te to. Lift up your hands. You want that joy of the Spirit. Oh, If you want that joy, come right now to this side of the sanctuary. Come right now from the back, too. If you want that joy, God's got an impartation of joy tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Come right now. Oh, Shatalabase. 
what's going on. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. These are not drunken as you suppose. Mm. Jared, come help me. Oh, joy. <laughs> joy, 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 joy. Oh, joy, joy, joy. Joy, give her joy, give her joy, give her joy. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, drunk in the Holy Ghost with joy. Shabrekete arriboro soto, arriboro soto, arriboro soto. Atasekhe la mahata soto lo ya rida la la bara riada la 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 la. More, 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 more. Oh, more, 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 more. Joy, God. Oh, God, right there. Touch his belly. Joy! Oh, Joy! Oh, Joy! Oh, Joy! Oh, Thank you. 
I heard one older preacher say one time, you might as well get on in and enjoy it. He said, you might as well get on in and enjoy it. Lift up your hand. Just get on in right now and enjoy it. You might as well just get on in and enjoy it. Touch. Say,
Oh, come on, church. This ain't nothing to be afraid of. This ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Your children need to see a move of God. I say your grandchildren need to see God move sovereignly like this. Some of you haven't wept. Some of you haven't cried in the Holy Ghost for years. It's about time. I said it's about time. Somebody needs to let go and let God. Come on, let God be God in this house. I said let God be God in this house. I dare you to praise Him. I dare you to worship. I dare you to celebrate Jesus. I dare you to laugh from your innermost being. Come on and shout. Come on and praise. Come on and worship. Come on and lift your voice. Lift up a sacrifice of praise. Shout unto God with a joy. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ho! Ho! Praise Him. Praise Him. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Oh! Oh! Yes, Lord! I could sing an ending song of how you saved my soul. If I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love. My heart is bursting, Lord, to tell of all you've done how you changed my life and wiped away the past. I want to shout it out from every rooftop thing. I know that God is for me, not against me. I could sing an ending song of how you saved my soul. If I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love. Everybody's singing now because we're so happy. Oh, everybody's dancing now Cause we're so happy If only we could see the smile up on your face And see you smiling over us And the angels celebrate Cause joy is in this place Yeah Oh, if I could sing a living song of how you saved my soul and I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love oh if I could sing a ending song of how you saved my soul and I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love my heart is bursting Lord Tell of all you've done, of how you changed my life and wiped away the past. I want to shout it out from every rooftop sing, for I know that God is for me, not against me. I could sing an ending song of how you saved my soul. If I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love, oh, I could sing a living song of how you saved my soul. If I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love. My heart is bursting, Lord, to tell of all you've done, of how you changed my life and wiped away the past. I want to shout it out from every rooftop sing. For how I know that God is for me, not against me. I could sing an ending song of how you saved my soul. If I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love. Oh, yes, I could sing an ending song of how you saved my soul. Well, I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love. My heart is bursting, Lord, to tell of all you've done, of how you changed my life and wiped away the past. I want to shout it out from every rooftop scene, for now I know that God is for me, not against me. I could sing ending song of how you save my soul oh and i could dance a thousand miles because of your great love oh, oh save my soul oh i could dance a thousand miles because of your great song of how 
Joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. And the half has never yet been told. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Has never yet been told. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Has never yet been told. I have found His grace is all complete. He supplies my every need While I sit and learn at Jesus' feet I am free, yes, free indeed Well, it is joy unspeakable and full of glory Full of glory, full of glory It is joy unspeakable and full of glory Or the half has never yet been told Found the pleasures once and pray it is joy and peace within. What a wondrous blessing I still say, free from awful guilt of sin. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Has never yet been told. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. For the half has never yet been told. somebody. The Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Come on, get a drink of that new wine, that living water from the well that never runs dry. Oh, 
Oh, thank God for the Holy Ghost. Somebody throw your hands up in the air and say, thank God for the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost and fire. Hallelujah, out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Oh, he has done for me. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Praise God for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, Praise God for saving me When I think of the goodness of Jesus And all he has done for me My soul cries out, hallelujah Praise God for saving me When I think of the goodness of Jesus And all he has done for me soul cries out hallelujah praise God for saving me it's the Holy Ghost and it's keeping me Well, it's the Holy Ghost and fire, and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Well, it's down in my heart, and it's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive, oh, keeping me alive. Yes. Well, it's down in my heart, and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. It's the Holy Ghost and fire, and it's Keeping me alive, yes, it's keeping me alive. Well, it's, it's the Holy Ghost and fire, and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping, keeping me alive. Well, it's down in my feet, and it's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive, keeping me alive. Well, well it's down in my feet, and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Well, it's all over me, and it's keeping me alive, keeping me alive, keeping me alive. Well, it's all over me, and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Well, it's down in my hands, and it's keeping me alive, keeping me alive, keeping me alive. Well, it's down in my hands, and it's keeping me Alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Holy Ghost and fire, and it's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. It's keeping me alive. Well, it's the Holy Ghost and fire, and it's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive. Then he 
told me to run on, heal my body. Then he told me to run on, he's my friend. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Well, there ain't nobody like my Jesus. Ain't nobody like my Lord. Well, there ain't nobody like my Jesus. He's my friend. Well, ain't nobody do me like Jesus. Ain't nobody do me like the Lord. Ain't nobody. Do me like Jesus, he's my friend. Well, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Well, there ain't nobody like my Jesus. There ain't nobody like my Lord. There ain't nobody like my Jesus. He's my friend. tonight I'm sorry brother Daniel but I got to repent I've got to admit my flesh coming into the service wanted a cute little Monday night special and I wanted out early so I could get home and get some rest because I knew five o'clock was going to come early Tuesday morning when will I ever learn?
just now. Oh, lost in the power just now. Oh, lost in the power just now. And baptize everyone. Well, oh, lost in the power just now. Oh, lost in the power just now. Just now, oh, lost in the power just now, and baptize everyone. Yes, this power from heaven descending with the sound of rushing wind. Tongues of fire came down upon them as the Lord said He would then. Oh, lost in the power just now. Oh, lost in the power just now. Oh, lost in the power just now. And baptize everyone. This is old time power was given to our fathers who were true. It's promised to believers, and we all may have it too. Oh, lost in the power just now. Oh, lost in the power just now. Oh, lost in the power just now. And baptize everyone. Yes, oh, lost in the power just now. Oh, lost in the power just now. Oh, lost in the power just now. Oh, Some of you just need to go ahead and enjoy, enjoy this right now because you have been fighting hell long enough and hard enough. Come on, somebody, you deserve to rejoice in Jesus. You re oh, come on, you deserve to have the joy of the Lord. You deserve to restore restoration, reconciliation. Lord, restore unto us the joy of our salvation. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Oh! 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 Yes! Yes! We stand. 
stir up that joy. We stir up that Holy Ghost joy. Oh, just lift up your hands right now. Just lift up your hands and begin to thank God. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Come on. I believe somebody's going to get filled for the first time. Oh, God, just baptize us all. Baptize us all in the Holy Ghost and fire. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Come on, lift it up. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Oh, pray in the Holy Ghost. Praise in the Holy Ghost. Worship in the Holy Ghost. Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. You dear waters out of the wells of salvation. I wish somebody would get a hold of some joy. I wish somebody would get a hold of the living water. I wish somebody would rejoice. I wish somebody would celebrate Jesus. get a prayer partner right now everybody grab somebody there's a fresh impartation this is about the second or the third wave of glory tonight come on get a hold of somebody begin to pray begin to prophesy begin to impart begin to release give up so easy. Don't give up. Come on, push. 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 Pray until something happens. Praise until something happens. Worship until something happens. test right here this is the test when the music stops 
Come on, young people, you know what I'm about to do. Two years ago at Bethel Youth Camp, I got up on stage and I said, all right, praise and worship team, that's enough. Because if it's God, we can praise him with the music stop. I said, if it's the Holy Ghost, we can worship without the beat, without the drums. Will somebody lift up their hands? Will somebody lift up their voice and praise and worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords? Hey! worshiping the music we're not worshiping the beat of the drums but we're worshiping the one true and living God he's worthy of all of our praise he's great and greatly to be praised hallelujah hallelujah yes Lord yes Lord yes Jesus Yes, this is true praise. This is true praise. The Father seeks such to worship Him. He's looking for somebody that will praise Him and worship Him in spirit and in truth, in the beauty of holiness, with all of their mind, soul, body, and spirit. Oh! I'm just going to go ahead and prophesy right here and right now. You ain't ever going to praise God the same. I said after this night, you ain't ever going to worship God in the same way. Oh, there's something changed tonight. I said let the worshipers arise. Let the worshipers arise. Let the sons and the daughters sing. Oh, ho, 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 ho.
I want you to look at somebody and say, I ain't ever going to worship God the same again. I am a liberated praiser after tonight. Come on, somebody. I said, I am a liberated praiser after tonight. Woo! You better get ready because change has come to the house of God. Let me tell you a little bit about something what we are experiencing tonight. Let me tell you a little bit about what they used to call old time Pentecost. Old school Pentecost. And this is for, this is for none of us because we've never seen anything about what I'm about to tell you. But my dear old grandmother, she used to tell me, Sister Dixie Step, she came out of the Brother, Brother Daniel, she came and her family, they came out of the Church of God of Cleveland, Tennessee. I believe some of her relatives were some of the founding members there in Cleveland. And my grandmother, we used to call her granny, she would tell me about all night prayer meetings that they used to have. Come on, somebody. I said all night. Everybody say all night. I mean, it's only 1015, but we're talking about all night prayer meetings. And she used to say, Stephen, she, she said, I remember after about four or five hours of prayer, she said, I remember when men and women would jump from the altar, and back then they, went, they didn't have electricity, but they had those old lantern, what were, were they, kerosene or whatever they were, they were hanging on the wall, and they would go and they would grab those lamps and they would run around the church with those flames lipping through their fingers and they would not get burnt. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit. This is where the snake handlers come out because, brother, they had the zeal of God, but they didn't have the wisdom. And when they seen in the Bible that they could take up deadly serpents and it shall not hurt them, some of those folks tried it because it's what the good book said. But another thing I remember she told me, she said, Stephen, I remember one night in one of those all-night prayer meetings, she said, I seen with my own two eyes, listen to me, after about three, four, five hours of prayer, I seen a man who was prostrate on the altar praying before God literally levitate off the altar. No magic trick, nothing under him, just the power of God, just the hand of God holding him up. Church, this is that that was spoken by the prophet Joel. That in the last days, everybody say the last days. These are the last of the last days. That in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Now listen to me. Some of us, we needed this so desperately tonight. Here I am, brother. Let me get my hands, my feet, my arms, my elbows. Woo, my Lord, have mercy. But now let me show you, let me tell you what God showed me. When I was down here, brother, there's different ways. There's different things of the Spirit. I know you know this. Sometimes in the Holy Ghost, you feel like you're a, as light as a feather. How many know what I'm talking about? You just feel like you're, you're weightless. You just, whoo. Tonight, I felt like I weighed a million pounds. You asked me to get up and pray, brother. There was no way I was getting up off this altar unless somebody picked me up. You know what it was? It was the kabod. The weighty presence of God. But let me, let me share with you what God showed me. 
There was a supernatural impartation to this body tonight. And I know when we hear that at first, we think, oh, that's a good thing. And we get those Holy Ghost goosebumps. But you know what the Lord showed me, especially about the prayer team? You're going to start feeling what I feel. Come on, somebody. You're going to start feeling the responsibility, the weight. Come on, somebody. We took ownership of the house of God tonight. Can somebody say hallelujah? No more. No more do we have a renter's mentality. Oh, but we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. We are not servants, but we are His children. Oh, listen to me. There is a change. There is a change not only in in your individual lives, not only in your families, but there is a change in this body. And listen, don't you dare go back. Look at your neighbor and say, don't you dare go back. Don't you dare to go back to the way you were before. Don't you dare praise God the way you used to praise God. Because something broke tonight. Just like Pastor Josh sings it, something's moving. Something's changing. See, his glory feels like heaven on earth. Oh, <laughs> Lift up your hands and let's praise him one more time. We're trying to quit, I promise. We're trying to get home. But let's just lift up our hands and praise him one more time. Praise him one more time. Thank him. Thank you for doing what only God can do. Oh, she and the Come on, sing it to your neighbor. Mm-hmm. Oh, bound, oppressed. Tormented, sick or lame For the Holy Ghost of Acts Is still the same Oh, and you won't leave here Like you came in Jesus' name Come on, decree and declare this No, I won't leave here like I came in Jesus' name. Oh, bound, oppressed, tormented, sick or lame. For the Holy Ghost of Acts is still the same. Hallelujah, Lord. We just praise you and we thank you, Father, for your manifest presence, power, and glory. Lord, it makes us want to laugh. It makes us want to cry. It makes us want to shout and run all at the same time. Woo! We just praise you and we thank you. Father, bless us and protect us. Keep us safe. Lord, some way, somehow, get us safe home tonight. Lord, I pray that some of us have some designated drivers to get us home tonight. I thank you for the man of God. I thank you for the word of the Lord. Give us a great day if you tarry to tomorrow and bring us back safely tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Oh, you won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. Shake somebody's hand. Hug somebody's neck. Oh, brown, oppressed. Tormented, sick or lame. Yes, for the Holy Ghost of Acts is still the same.
same. No, you won't leave him like you came in Jesus' name.